WhatsApp is packed with features many users are not even aware of. Today, I'm going to share 10 cool WhatsApp features you must try to get the most out of this app. So I recently got a question on how to store photos from downloading to my phone gallery. So here is it. You click on these three dots. You click on settings and come over to where it says charts. Where it says show newly downloaded media in your device gallery. You toggle that off. That way, when somebody sends you an image and you tap on it, you only view it. Now, if you really want to download the image, all you have to do is to tap on the image and go to this three dots and see where it says save. It's going to save it to your gallery. This next feature has to be my third best feature. If you're sent a voice note and maybe you are sent a 10 minute voice note and you don't have 10 minutes to sit through the voice note, when you tap on play on the voice note, you can use this 1x with 1.5 2x, it reads the voice note on a fast speed. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so that way. So you subscribe and behind me need to subscribe to the channel. To make it easy for you to find people and groups that matter most to you across WhatsApp, here is all you have to do. You click on these three dots and come over to where it says settings and go over to favorites and click on this plus sign and you start clicking contacts and group you frequently chat with or receive message from. I'm just going to randomly click on all these. I'm going to check the boss and I'm going to go back. Easily access them, you just click on here favorite. You can see everybody you added to your favorites and you can chat with them anytime you want. That way you don't have to endlessly scroll through your WhatsApp. Another cool feature you can try is to use the search filter. With WhatsApp's search feature, you can now filter messages by photo, video, links, documents and more. To use this, just click on the search bar here. You can either click videos to highlight all the videos you're looking for. If I close that out, you can click on links. It's going to bring out all the links that have been sent to you. If it's photos you're looking for, you just click on that. It brings out all the photos that have been sent to you. This makes it easier for you to search what it is you're looking for. And guys, this one you're going to love. Try this one and thank me later. <laughs> If you're looking to share your contact immediately with someone you just met or with people, instead of just typing out the contact or just giving the person contact to type in and save in, you can just quickly do this. Click on these three dots, come over to setting and click on here and it brings out your QR code. Once this person scans this QR code, he's able to contact you immediately. It doesn't need to save any number, it doesn't need to do anything. Just scan this QR code and the person is chatting with you right away. If you would like to still reset the link after you sent it, you don't want more people to have it, you can reset it here. I'm going to go ahead and reset my link. If you want to prioritize certain chats over others, custom notifications can help. This feature allows you to assign unique tunes to specific contacts or groups, so you can instantly recognize who is messaging you without even looking at your phone. To do that, tap the group or contact you want to work with. Let me tap on this one now. And I'll tap on the name here. And where it says notification, I'm going to set the kind of notification and put the notification tune I want to use. Did you know you can use WhatsApp on your computer? Yes, you heard me right. WhatsApp Web or the desktop app mirrors your phone messages to your computer, allowing you for easier typing and multitasking. To do this, all you have to do is come over to your WhatsApp and click on these three dots. Click on linked devices. On your PC, you will type web.whatsapp.com. When you search that and it opens, it's going to bring out the QR code for you to scan. You click on this link device. It asks you whether you connect to Wi-Fi to continue because my Wi-Fi is not on. I'll click on use mobile data. It's going to ask you for your PIN. I'm going to put that in and it's going to bring out for you to scan the QR code. After which you will name the device because you are giving up to four devices to link your phone to. So you can know which one to remove whenever you need to remove one. If you are trying to send messages to a lot of people and you don't want to create a group and box them into a group, using the broadcast list feature is your go-to. This feature is useful when you need to make an important announcement or share important information with multiple people privately. How to use this feature is to click on your three dots here and click on where it says new broadcast and when it opens you select the contact you want to broadcast to 
once you finish selecting the contacts you want to broadcast so you click on check and paste the message all you have to do is hit send it's going to send them this message privately as an individual message if you're chatting with someone and there's a particular message you don't want to forget after your chat is done you want it to serve as a reminder once your chat is done with this person the one thing you can do is to quickly click on the chat and go back to these three dots here and click on the pin you can choose for how long you want it to be pinned on your page so that whenever it is you come you can see the message it starts as a reminder i use this as quick reminder to remind me yes you have to get this in though whenever i'm chatting with this person so you can choose how many days 24 hours seven days you want to be reminded of it so if i click on seven days and i pin it it's going to be on top of my chat with this person and on the person's chat also that way we are both reminded that there's something we need to talk about or there is something you have to finish doing sometimes group chats or contact can get a little too noisy if you don't want to leave the conversation but also don't want constant notification you can mute the chat for a period of time here's the chat i want to mute i will click and hold on it and you see this bell icon that has a slash over it i will tap on it and it will ask me for how long do i want to mute it it as one week always i'll leave it as always other members will not see that you muted this chat you'll be notified if you're mentioned that way you have your peace of mind but you're still notified if you get a direct message that is directed to you you know you can actually edit your messages after you've sent them so here is how you do it so let me paste this message and click on send once you've sent the message and you remember that oh i need to correct something or delete something or delete the message entirely you click on the message and hold it brings up this three dots you click on it and here it says edit you have the ability to edit, to remove whatever it is you want to remove from the message or even clean it out completely. You can use the dot and click on send. Yeah, that way you just mistakenly send the dot and you didn't have to say your message was deleted so you can be asked what did you just delete. You know those wicked answers that ask us what we did, did we just delete? Yeah, so this is how you do it. Do you know you can actually send up to 2 gigabytes of file through WhatsApp? Here is how you do it. You click on this paper clip icon and it brings up this interface. What you have to do, don't click if it's a video you want to send that is up to 2 gig on audio or something. Don't click on audio. Don't click on gallery. All you have to do is to click on the document and send the video as a document. That way you go over to your, I don't know what phone you're using, I'm using an Android phone. You come over to your browse document. It opens your file manager to you. I don't know how you organize your file you can come over to where it says recent and go over to your these are my files so you cannot go over to movies it allows you to choose what video it is you want to send that way you send up to two gigabytes of data and this feature has to be my most used feature on whatsapp and it's my coolest and my best feature have you ever needed to save an important message for future reference let me quickly paste this message here and send it and I want to come back to this message anytime, any day. I will click and hold this message and come over to these three dots and start the message. And anytime I want to find these star messages, all I have to do is to come back to the contact I start the message in and click here. And it brings up this and you see where it says start messages. If I open it, you'll be seeing every messages you've starred here. With the star feature, you can bookmark specific messages and easily find them later without scrolling through the entire chat. This is a bonus tip I'll give you now, and you can use it in formatting your text to look beautiful. I'm writing something and I want to format part of the text to look bold or in italics. Maybe I want you might be wondering to be bold. Behind the you, I click on there and I click here and I add star to it and go back to wondering and I add star to it. You see it has bolded the text, but I want it to be in italics. I can add this so it has made it italics. If I also want it to be starred and italics, I can add a star to it and also add the star to it. So this is just a few of many features that WhatsApp has that you can use and make your messaging experience in WhatsApp easier. Let me know which feature you're using that I've not mentioned yet that is giving you the vibe that you so much like. Please share the features you're using in the comment section. Let's all learn and like this video if you've not already done so. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and until next time, thank you so much for watching and do have a good one.